What's up guys, Dwight here with another Marvel Strike Force video and today we are going to take a look at uh, Adam Warlock on the Mystic Lane of the Doom Raid. This is the team I usually use, of course before without Adam Warlock, before I was using Hela or Ghost Rider or Ultimus, depending on yeah, if I was bored or not. And uh, the team I use is Thanos, Ebony Maw, Doctor Doom in the middle, Silver Surfer, and uh, now Adam Warlock. For Isoate, I have Fortifier on Thanos, I have uh, Skirmisher on Ebony Maw, I have uh, Striker on uh, Doctor Doom, I have Healer on uh, Silver Surfer, and I have Striker again on uh, Adam Warlock. I'm not sure if this is the best isolate for this specific uh, event or lane or whatever you want to call it, the Doom Ray, the Mystic Lane, but uh, for most part you can do this on auto with the other characters and Adam Warlock being a superior character I think it will be even easier. Okay, so early on I focus on Mordo, I want to make sure he doesn't give me any heal block or anything because this team doesn't have much healing and especially because I use uh, Doctor Doom on uh, the tech nodes and I don't have any cooldowns ready. But as you can see pretty easy after Mordo I focus on Yo-Yo uh, because I don't want her to apply offense down to me so I don't take too much time here. But as you can see in terms of survivability this team is quite good and uh, I like to use Thanos with Fortifier is only at uh, level 5 uh, tier 1 Fortifier is still not at uh, level 3 but I think he's going to become a lot better at uh, level 3 tier 2 because of the minor defense up it will make him a lot more reliable and uh, not 100% dependent on uh, Ebony Maw ok so as you can see we are destroying everything of course we have super OP team and uh, we have good strategy as well. Now we have the barrier after we kill a hero controller, which was Oka in this case. Then I like to stun uh, Captain America and uh, dis disrupt uh, Hulk so he's not in the way. If I don't have Adam Warlock, of course, I disrupt uh, both of them. And now we have uh, the ultimate from uh, Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel on Thanos, but he has the barrier because he has a lot of HP the barrier is quite significant and uh, also it doesn't interfere with uh, his drain and if he has heal block he will still get the barrier so in my opinion fortifier is becoming one of the best options for uh, iso 8 and now you try to get rid of uh, spider-man he's going to do the stun resisted it only consumed the barrier from Thanos, and uh, that's pretty much it now we have the ultimate let's save it for next turn Captain uh, Spider-Man is finally gone and now we have uh, Captain Marvel going away apply that uh, basic on Hulk if you have the skirmisher and the striker on uh, Silver Surfer and Ebony Maw you can uh, remove that offense up after he gets it so here we go not necessary and that's pretty much it very very easy this is difficulty zero so nothing to be worried about unfortunately my alliance is not able to do 100 of this so we cannot go to difficulty one but for now it's fine we can still get some blue eyes away and don't be like some other people getting level three striker blue eyes away right away it's unnecessary if you don't have the skirmisher eyes away to, at level three as well Okay, so we go for the second node, some people struggle a lot on this node, but with this team you can auto and uh, even with the Ultimus or with the Ghost Rider as the fifth you can auto this node, it's very very easy. And uh, here I was just trying to be to play optimal, so we apply the defense down to She-Hulk and the other Fantastic Force, then uh, we go for the big damage on She-Hulk. And now we have the ultimate with Doom, so we are going to destroy this team. Just make sure that She-Hulk doesn't have full charges, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so here you, I should have ignored She-Hulk, and I did that. 
thankfully. I focused on, um, what's his name, uh, Vision, to make sure I would get a barrier. He dodged it, that's fine, but use uh, the Silver Surfer to remove the charges. And uh, now, because we get so many turns with the Silver Surfer, he will get uh, his cooldown almost ready for the second She-Hulk. Okay, so now tons of barriers, so the ultimate from that, that guy is meaningless, even that we don't have a defense up and offense down on him, that's fine. After you want to focus on uh, whichever character, I usually focus first on uh, War Machine, I think it was not the case this time. We have that thing very low, you, you want to make sure you get rid of him so you don't take extra splash damage. I've attacked Mysterio for uh, no good reason, there is no point in attacking Mysterio. Now attacking Falcon, that's a good option because he's going to do his special and give turn meter to the, the allies. And now we continue and uh, let me see, okay so I apply defense down to everyone around uh, the thing which is a good strategy, now we can get rid of the other guys much faster. And as you can see like they have been attacking just the, the barrier from Thanos and this is why recently I've been using him as a fortifier. But this is the in, not empowered version of Thanos, of course for the empowered version you still want to use the striker, so keep that in mind, but because I'm only using the Black Order on uh, Alliance Wars, I, I think there is no point in uh, having him as a striker for most uh, of the time. Okay, so She-Hulk is stunned, while she's stunned she gets no charges, so that's fine, and now we are saving just cooldowns for the next node, we'll try to one-shot it, see if it's possible. For the next node, it's very important that you have some kind of ability block, and uh, that's pretty much it, and the ability block is more for uh, Squirrel Girl rather than uh, Doctor Doom, we can get rid of Doctor Doom very fast. But now with Adam Morlock we can uh, ability block both of them and uh, make this node very very easy. I could one shot it before, with Adam Warlock it just became so much easier. I usually just put on auto and I do like 90% uh, of the damage and then someone else cleans. But like this it's so much easier and I can't wait to have Adam Warlock at 6 yellow stars to, to make this even easier. Okay so here we go the boss node of the Doom Raid on the Mystic Lane. Everything exactly the same, no heals used so far and I only have Silver Surfer as a healer but I, you can do exactly the same without uh, Silver Surfer as a healer. You can just uh, use uh, Doctor Doom as a healer <laughs> with his ultimate. Okay, so here we go, first ability block on uh, Squirrel Girl. I think after I ability block uh, Lady Electro because I don't want her to apply Office Sound to me. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it, I did exactly that. So now we'll have full damage to do on, uh, on Doctor Doom. So let's do just that and as you can see, he's already pretty low. These characters do tons of damage. Ooh, <laughs> 50 damage, wow. Okay, now Thanos going a little bit low, he's at uh, 6 red stars, so it's nothing to worry about. Now here I did something wrong, I usually focus on uh, Rocket Raccoon, and that will give a defense up to everyone around. So I didn't play properly, but still is is good enough, we are still applying defense down to Doctor Doom. And that's the most important part, but you also want to apply the defense down to a Squirrel Girl. Okay, so now tons of damage. We continue destroying Doctor Doom. He is very very low, we still have some turn left, and now we are going to apply tons of bleeds to him. At this point he's pretty much dead with all those bleeds and defense down and so on. And uh, yeah, so Lady Electro now. Now you want to finish all characters at the same time, so next turn you will have uh, Invisible Woman coming at the same time with the other characters. So unfortunately Carnage survived, I always forget that this Carnage has a lot of HP, but that's fine because like this we can recover the cooldown on the ability block 
and uh, you can ability block uh, invisible woman just make sure that you save the ability block from other warlock to use on the second squirrel girl otherwise you might be into trouble okay so now i try to apply defense down to as many characters as possible and uh, that also will save some damage because only one of the elses are getting offense up that's actually very important uh, because uh, these houses do quite a lot of damage so i focus on uh, ghost rider because supposedly invisible woman would will die with uh, with all those bleeds i i think it was actually not enough we'll see it in just a second so more bleeds for uh, ghost rider now apply the vulnerability guaranteeing more bleeds one of the else's gets offense up the other didn't like uh, i expected so now we have the offense up on uh, silver surfer and here as you can see i thought that invisible woman was going to die so that delayed me a little bit uh, I, I was a little bit overconfident maybe with adam warlock at six yellow stars it will be possible but uh, <laughs> without it I have to do some more work on Invisible Woman next time. Okay, so we got rid of her barrier and we got rid of her. Now we get rid of uh, Ghost Rider. And now we need to have the ability block to apply to Squirrel Girl. And after you want to get rid of her as uh, fast as possible. Okay, here I should have used the ultimate from Doctor Doom. It, it would be fine. I don't know exactly why I didn't do i don't have to save anymore and instead of ability block i did a stun and we have the ability block from uh, silver surfer to apply to uh, lady electro and like this we'll take uh, no offense down on our team now we'll up with Thanos to the max he still has the barrier and this once again is this is why i like to use a fortifier now on him because not only gets the the barrier it gets minor defense up and uh, eventually he will get uh, also 40% drain on top of what, of what he already has so now that everything is almost gone I just put on auto and uh, let them uh, eat away squirrel girl and now Elsa and then Venom and that's pretty much it so Adam Warlock really makes this a lot more easy because we have more ability blocks and stuns to control the enemies and uh, thanks to that, uh, the, the fight becomes so much easier. So much easier to one-shot this. And uh, here for some extra drama, we have uh, Doctor Doom destroying Venom. And I almost timed out because of this joke. So yeah, guys, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Adam Warlock in uh, the Doom Raid, the Mystic Nodes, it makes it so much easier. These extra ability blocks and uh, stuns are so helpful and uh, he still does a nice amount of damage even at uh, five yellow stars five red stars the bleeds could be a little bit stronger but once again it's all based on the stars that i have right now for sure that uh, when you'll get stronger it will be a lot better so that's going to be the video i hope you guys enjoy it if you did you know what to do smash that like button like a boss if you found information on this video helpful Make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content. And I will catch you guys later.